Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm in a great mood. I don't know why. Just feel good and just can't wait to eat actually. Mom's cooking um <sighs> today's video is just a little you know pregnancy update. So so far I am today 26 weeks. Yay! Two weeks time I'll be seven months entering my third trimester. I'm looking forward to it but I'm I don't know it's 50-50. People say, you know, your third trimester, you're more tired, you gain a lot of weight, the baby's kicks are like, and the punch is like, I'm cutting <laughs> punches and you just can't sleep at night, you know, when you laugh it hurts, you're not able to eat as much, it's just, I don't know, different things, but I'm looking forward to it because it's the last hurdle and I feel like I've come this far, one more trimester to go, then the baby is here! halfway through you know what can I say but thank God honestly it's only him I'm feeling great nothing's really changed to be honest I've gained a bit of weight as you know normal as you like as you do when you are pregnant I'm feeling very energetic I don't really nap I don't really get much sleep as I should be getting I, don't, I can't really sleep at night to be honest because I don't know I wake up at night you know, I have a glass of water by my bed, so I'm just always thirsty. Always, you know, always need to go to the toilet. Um, I do get tired quite quickly. Like, sometimes I'll just be sitting there. You know, I haven't done much, I'll just be like. <sighs> and it's like, you just get out of breath, and I'll just still be like, well, what the hell? But it's part of pregnancy. Um, so I do get more tired, but in terms of like, and active I'm very very active and it takes me a while a bit longer to get ready so I'm literally always late not that I wasn't late before but <laughs> I'm just extra extra late now I haven't vomited yet I don't think I will to be honest at this stage great 20 week scan 20 week scan I was nervous I'll be honest with you I was very nervous the reason being is because I feel like I don't know you, you're just nervous you just want everything to be all right Every scan, well, I only had, I've only had two to be honest, but obviously my first scan I was nervous because I wanted, you know, the baby to be alright because I didn't have any symptoms. You know, I was just scared. Like, I didn't feel pregnant, so I was just scared. I just wanted, you know, the baby to be fine, alive, healthy, that sort of stuff. When they are checking, they're writing notes and they don't say nothing to you. You do get a bit nervous thinking, okay, they're not saying nothing. They're doing what they're doing. And obviously, I had to come back twice because my little baby just wasn't moving like the baby was like i'm trying not to say the sex but <laughs> the baby was just like in a praying position i think it's a shy baby very very shy i think my baby has copious personality so they told me to have a you know sweet cold drink jump up and down a few times twerk possible. <laughs> so yeah that would basically help the baby to move and change position so after that, let's say about half an hour, 45 minutes, went back inside, baby still stubborn. Still in the same position, I had to jump up and down, walk around, and eventually, my baby was open. My baby allowed them to see everything. So everything was good, and I was just so happy, you know, literally when they told me, no problems, like everything's good. Just like, yes, it's happening. And when they told me the sex, I was like, oh my God. You just don't expect it. It was just like, oh my gosh, are you serious? It was just, it was such a blessing. I'm feeling the baby kick more and more each day and it's just the best feeling ever. Sometimes I'm like, oh, oh, oh. But yeah, you get used to it. You really do get used to it. Everyone always asks me, how does it feel? You know, the kicks. The best way to describe the kicks, my opinion, I feel like it's basically, hold on. It's basically, like a heart a heartbeat you know how you can feel your heart it's like that but just imagine your heart pushing through <laughs> it sounds so stupid but I know what I mean in my head it's just basically like an intense heartbeat that's just trying to push out at little nudges or like say if you've got a really bad stomach ache and you, you can feel your belly like just feel some bubbles it's just like that but just really really intense but um I remember when I was about 
times for me two weeks. And everyone was asking me, like, oh, have you felt the kicks? And I was like, no. And I was like, oh, well, I felt kicks. Because like, everyone's pregnancy is different. And obviously, when you hear from other people that, like, you know, they've felt kicks at a certain period in their pregnancy and you haven't felt any kicks, it's just like, oh. But then, obviously, when I did go to my medical appointments, baby's heartbeat was fine, everything was fine. So from then on, I knew, like, you know, they do say, from 16 to 25 weeks. So if you are pregnant and you know you're worried that you haven't felt the baby kicks, just wait. Some babies kick from like 25 weeks. Or your baby could be kick your baby does kick all the way through, but it's just that um, you don't feel all the kicks. But in the beginning, I could feel like floaty movements. So I could feel like my baby floating around. That was alright, and then it just started, the kicks just gradually, gradually became stronger. So I feel like the pregnancy kind of prepares you for it. It's not like all of a sudden, all oh, kicks, because that would be very weird, but it's like, it's just slowly, like you feel my kicks, then the kicks get stronger, then it gets stronger, and I'm assuming last trimester, you know, the baby's like active, so. It's weird, but it's nice at the same time. The one thing that I will say I'm looking forward to the most is obviously delivery day, yay! Where the baby's here, not labor, let me not lie, not the process but once the baby's here just to look into its eyes and just to smell oh, i love that baby smell and obviously dress up time i've bought well i haven't bought so much but i've bought clothes already like you can't help it you see something you like you just buy it so like just putting on the baby's baby grows and hats bibs shoes yeah i'm looking forward to that i'm not looking forward to um, sleepless nights I do love my sleep. I'm not looking forward to delivery time. Some people have it tough. Some people have it pretty easy. But I do want to have a water birth. <laughs> but um, things might not go to plan. But I, I feel like I know. I'm so confident. I'm just trying to be confident. You speak positive things. Positive things happen. I haven't had any cravings. I'm kind of disappointed about that. I'm not too keen on fish these days. I don't think my baby will like fish. Kofi doesn't like fish, so that's his twin, I guess. The top three apps that I love are um, the Bounty app. I love their articles, and they tell you each day basically something new about the baby, like you know, different parts are growing, brain cells are forming. It's all new things. I love that. I love um, Pregnancy Plus. I think it's called, and um, that's a good app as well. I love seeing like, the pictures of the babies and how they grow, the videos. And last but not least, I love the uh, Baby Center. I think, yeah, the Baby Center. I think that's my fave. Yeah, Baby Center. Yeah, they say your baby's the size of a mango, the size of an apple, different vegetables. Do you know what? I haven't thought of any baby names. We did have some in mind, but it's like me and Kofi can't agree on a name yet. I thought, I thought it was gonna be easy. I really did. I thought, yay! You know, like when you're, when you have all the names in your head, like I'm sure a lot of girls, I don't know maybe I'm just speaking for myself please let me know but we have all our babies names in our head before we're even pregnant before we're even in a relationship we know the names of our children but then when you meet your partner and they're not you know feeling the names then what can you do you have to both come to an agreement so yeah this is actually the hardest because I feel like I thought by now we would have had a name but I feel like at this way we're just probably gonna see the baby and just name the baby there and then i don't know how we're gonna agree on a name like it's it's very hard it's very very hard i thought it was the easiest part but i was wrong and i had the worst pregnancy scare ever honestly guys uh, where do i even start so sunday 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 i didn't really feel any movement and then i was getting worried it's not until it came to like the evening times and i was just like oh i haven't felt any like I felt movements but it was very light, it wasn't like the usual intense kicks. Next morning I thought okay, my baby normally moves in the morning, the evening, I know the patterns were moving. I didn't really feel any intense kicks and then Kofi was like, I'll just drink some cold, sweet drink, lie on your left side and I was just like, no, I want to go to the midwife. Because I do remember my mid midwife saying, if you don't feel any movement, come and see us ASAP. 24 hours, yeah, so don't hesitate. So we went there, then she checked the heartbeat, everything was fine. And then 
she was like, yeah. And then I started to feel the kicks. Like, even when I was there waiting, I started to feel kicks, but not thought, you know what, I'm here already. I might as well just, you know, check it out. And she checked the heartbeat and everything was fine. And then, yeah, so it was just a little scare. But I will say to mother, mums to be, don't feel ashamed, don't, you know. Yeah, you can drink cold water, cold drink and lie on your left, but, you know, if, if you if it's been like a few hours and you haven't felt any movement and it's a bit unusual definitely go and see the midwife you know it doesn't cost anything and i'd just rather be safe than sorry but um that was just a little scared but that was fine people on public transport can be very rude um even though you've got your badge on your bumps out whatever it is some people will just not give you a seat and what i had to do is especially early stages because i wore my um baby on board badge quite early like how many weeks was I? I think I wore it from like three months onwards. Yeah, I wore my baby and ball badge. And I feel like when people don't see a bump, they don't get up. But it's like you can see I'm wearing the badge, so why not getting up? So I had to physically ask people, oh, can I sit down? Can I sit down? And everyone would look at me like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But yeah, and because if I didn't, I'll be standing throughout the whole journey and I'm not having that. So anyone out there that has experienced that, you know, people not getting up for their maybe because they're early in their pregnancy, definitely ask, don't feel ashamed. Because now that I'm showing, people do get out more, but sometimes I still have to ask. And I'm not ashamed of what to ask, honestly. I mean, you know, what's the worst that can happen? I mean, there was one funny time when <laughs> I must have asked the woman, I was like, oh, can I, have a sit can I sit down, please? And she was like, huh? Like, she couldn't hear what I was saying. I said it again. And then she tapped the guy next to her and was like, excuse me, you know, look at her, can she sit down? And then he let me sit down. But I thought that was probably her husband or family friend or whatever. But no, it was a complete stranger. I thought, wow, what, did you, what a cheat, you know? How can you say that to someone? How can you ask someone to stand up and I've asked you, bro? I got a seat in the end and that was the main thing. But um, yeah. I feel, I feel really bad when I'm sitting down and I see another pregnant lady and no one's getting up for them. I think one day I'm gonna ask them, like, do you want me to ask ask these guys to get up for you? Because I'm, it's sad, because I can't get up for you. And everyone's sitting there on their phones, glued to their newspaper, and they can't even look up and see like a pregnant lady standing right in front of them. So no, honestly, if you see anyone on the train and you're not pregnant, on the bus, wherever, please get up for them because you know, you've come back from work, you're tired, you want to sit down. And if you are pregnant and you are, you are wearing the badge, don't be afraid to ask for a seat because some people, either they just can't see you, they're glued to their phones, glued to a newspaper. Just ask them, oh, excuse me, can I have a seat please? Because you don't want to stand there, then you faint, God forbid, or something happens and you just need to ask. But I know it's a, it's a shame because people should actually get up first time, but sometimes you just got to give them the little nudge. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. That's it. I think I've covered everything. But I'll definitely be doing another update. This time, it'll be my first trimester. So tune in for that. And we will be doing a gender reveal video very soon. Keep your eyes peeled for that. Once again, thank you, guys. Like, we get new subscribers every single day. And I just want to thank you guys so much for the support, the love you've shown to myself and Kofi. And um, we want to continue to grow. We want to continue to, you know we still have a long way to go but i believe that we will we will get there and yeah once again thanks guys and don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you haven't i mean it's just one click isn't it right there right there and yeah i guess you guys want to see a bump update but yeah i feel like it's probably the same as last time obviously it's probably grown my belly buttons like come out more and yeah I'm huge like a whale. But yeah, I've got a tip to quite short. But yeah, this is my bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Have a great week, guys, and thank you for watching. See ya!